What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys been out there building shit. In this episode of Workshop, I'm going to tell you a story about going and picking up a bus, a little short bus with a 7.3 IDI from Richie Brothers Auction, and then she ran out of fuel, and I had to figure out why. I'm by the bus! I need to know where Richie Brothers Oh, my girthiness. I think I pulled up to the semi pump because that's a fatty. It will not go in the hole, guys. fuel I put in didn't even uh, register. Let's get on the highway here. So far, Franny's shifting good and stuff. That's good. It's the biggest fear all the time getting something at auction because you can only kind of drive it forwards and backwards listen to the motor you can't really can't really take it for a real drive oh yeah shift it all the way up to home for a drive this thing rolls out and smashes windshield wipers are working heater motors The hill up to the house, that's the test of all vehicles, guys. Oh, she's losing power. Uh-oh, guys. I don't know what's going on. That's all she's got, man. That's all she's got. Hopefully I can coast up here to this little pullout, but I don't know what's going on. I got it to the floor, and I'm losing more and more power. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here. So that sucks. Run out of gas on the way home, and uh, they've got this wire with the keys on it connected to the steering column and you can't get it off so we're gonna leave it here on the side of the road with the keys we slid about five gallons of diesel down her throat hopefully she fires my fear is that it might be the injection pump and it wasn't out of diesel but fingers crossed and i locked the keys in there so i'm gonna have to crawl through the back there we go cut that so next day after the auction won't start I'm start getting into this doghouse gotta pull the two bolts out of there which is super easy but then they've got this set up on here for opening and closing the door and you gotta monkey with this undo that bolt get this out of the way to get that out and so I think one of my first projects is gonna be shortening this way down to where you don't have to do that to work on it shortened up mounted straight to this wall instead of way out here i should make uh, any future work on the bus a lot of you gotta easier. get these clips on dog. this side this guy's kind of glassy when i turned it over i noticed some fuel running down the side of that so i got a leak on my filter housing. I'm betting she was leaking just as much diesel on the ground as that engine was drinking on the way home. That's why we ran out. So to get that filter housing off there, I just used a crescent wrench, adjustable wrench, pulled this part off there, and then from the back, we took that wire off there and undid this piece with a crescent wrench as well. It looks like I'm gonna have to get those two off. They are 14 millimeters, so I'm gonna get them out, which will take that housing off there, and then I'll be able to work on it outside of the van. Use a screwdriver, undid this one from the return rail, and then this guy off the top should pop off, 
and that's it. Should we go pull that out? So that's the guy that's leaking right there. And to get to that, first use the filter wrench, pull the filter off. And then we need a big adjustable wrench to pull this part off. First you remove the metal piece from the inside with a big screwdriver. And then to get that piece out, I use that same big screwdriver. But I use the butt and I just go like this. A lot of people will just order a new one of these or replace that O-ring. But me, I don't really see the point in even having that stuff in there. So off I go, I'm heading to Home Depot for a half inch NPT plug. And I'm heading to Harbor Freight for a set of their taps and dies for NPT thread. in the tap. And an NPT plug but it does have a lot of uh, funky edges and stuff so I end up scraping the inside getting rid of a lot of uh, loose pieces and whatnot I wish this was brass but they had none in stock at Home Depot so fingers crossed it's gonna not shed any little pieces and mess up my injection a little bit of Permatex thread sealer Got that tightened in there. Tried to wipe down and clean up as absolute best as I can. Now I'm in reassemble. And then I got that little center piece back on. Some people reuse this metal piece. I don't really see the point. So I'm just gonna leave both those parts out. Filter housing bolts back on, or nuts back on. Tighten them up. Got this line connected up here. And then we've got the old plug that's no longer needed and we got that little plug we'll put it back on this one just go ahead and leave it flopping it doesn't really matter no more get this supply side reconnected from the front we got the supply line tightened up hose clamps the return line one back Refilled on filled the filter with some ATF didn't have any diesel clean around or diesel so I just went ahead and used ATF it works too. It'll lube up your injection pump and help it out. Got the drain hooked up and that other wire back on there. So, should be good to go Got now. Got rid of that fuel heater on top of the filter housing. So, let's crank it up and see if she starts. Okay. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000. see no leaks down the back of the filter housing no more that's good but, let's see here I'll let it charge a little while so get her primed Use the old starting sauce. Don't be doing this unless you got the manual glow plug over override or you disconnect your glow plugs from a 7.3 or a 6.9 IDI, guys. bore you with those silly details but thank you all for watching hit like and subscribe check out my older videos and most of all believe in what god gave you take on projects build fix create don't be sitting around idle don't be wasting your time on this earth god made you for a purpose guys keep building shit